Yo, what's in, girls? This water is uh, we're back. I need to have a shower soon, but I just wanted to do this awesome video, so future. The I don't store is our first know stop and has anything about Bosley characters, but I think someone will go Fireworks are not they permitted in the park, so it's a good thing my wife doesn't let me get carried away. But yeah, what she doesn't guys, know, thing, if you guys are and new to the city, just down the road is the hut with cutting supplies and an awesome patio town. Before leaving Honey so River, you must take advantage of the big red chair. It is perfect for selfies. The boardwalk offers a great view of the harbor. Stocked up with a few treats, we headed back to Taunch for the evening. What? Upon our return to Taunch, we randomly bump into a few Hold old friends. Over. Part of a group we met when we first started boarding yeah, in Georgia guys. Bay, the self-proclaimed redneck yacht. So, I am. With the sun getting low, it was time to use some of the wood we purchased at Cedar Springs and start a campfire. But before we do, we make sure to register with Parks Canada. There is a small fee to overnight on the dock, but it is well worth it. Oh. You don't have to mess with an anchor, and you aren't stuck using the onboard porta potty. Parks Canada maintains washrooms. Yeah, and guys. Hey, girls. Clean Getting a fireball for start. Can be a challenge for some of us. Yeah, kindling, you need some newspaper, you need some accelerants, wax, or something. Sawdust, or you get yourself a redneck fire starter. I mean, like, yeah. With beautiful Georgian Bay in the background, you can't take long for the storytelling to begin. With the fire roaring, it was time to bring up a little surprise I picked up at the general store. Amazing how a few sparklers will bring out the kids in us all. Any minute. Now as a child, I was a Oh, yeah. 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 But they provide um, wood to burn at a reasonable yeah. price. I don't know. Well, it may not be for everyone. Pontoon camping no is definitely doable. We won't be selling our cruise anytime soon. But this type of boat is a close second when it comes to explore. Are. So, I'm learning and meant to learn the animals were living in the iron and feces, uh, the entire house for me uh, and you. A shocking case of animal so. neglect. Several pets are seized after being found left to mostly fend for themselves over several months. Good right, morning, thanks for joining us. We have shocking video from the BC interior, and it's gone viral for all the wrong reasons. And a warning, some viewers may find this disturbing. I'm out. Yo, buddy, don't shoot me. I'm Staff at Chinese Garden Restaurant in Guan Bay on the receiving end of this angry rant. The man lost it over the wait time for his order on a busy Friday night. The person who shot the video described his behavior as disgusting and says the restaurant is a local gem in the shoe swap. Even TMZ picked up the story writing, if people are losing it in Canada, we're in big trouble. What? The response no from way. to Global he News states can... that a police file was generated, however, after speaking with the complainant and reviewing the video, there does appear to have a criminal offense committed, but the police file has no now way. been concluded. I need a shocking case of animal neglect in Richmond on Saturday. Officials seized that. ten animals, eight cats, and two dogs from a home on Williams Road. The Yo, owners had buddy, left the country before the pandemic hit me. and handed their pets' care to friends or family. The home is said to have been a mess with animal feces everywhere. Spawn. Six cats, two kittens, and yeah. two small poodle like dogs so. have been taken to the Richmond Animal I Shelter. Am fleas and fleas and fur on the dogs. The animals are said to be in relatively good health. We were notified 
by the it's rocking, uh, it's rolling. Um, I'll show you guys. So, I got this. Yo, buddy, that ain't cool. Five people were hurt when two boats collided Buddy. on the South Thompson River in Camloops. Our CP say an eastbound ski boat was rear-ended on Saturday by a jet boat traveling at a much higher speed. Two passengers sitting on the lower deck of the ski boat were hurt in the crash. In total, Yo, five people were sent to I hospital. The extent the of their injuries remains would... unknown. Our CP say alcohol Boy. is not believed to be a problem. Yeah, guys. The investigation is I'm underway. I'm going over Homicide here. investigators were on the scene Check of early morning house fire in Mission this weekend. Flames breaking out around 2 o'clock in a wood speed. framed building on the rural property that on Gun the Avenue. The blaze so is way. considered suspicious so. and I hit has been called in. Our CMP vehicles I'm are stationed at the entrance to the property as investigators look for clues as to what happened. Why? It's unclear if any fatalities are linked to the fire or events that occurred prior to the flames breaking out. Yeah, guys. Neighbors of an East Vancouver homeless camp say their green space is under attack. VPD is wrapping up patrols in the Strathcona area after calls spiked in June and July. A city councillor was threatened last month, and no, and now locals say no one is I safe. just bought About 80% of people from Oppenheimer Park are still in temporary supportive or more permanent housing. BC Social Development and Poverty yeah, Production Minister says the province is working on a solution. Um, so Kids are being threatened. Yeah, um, we have I multiple guess. instances of, of children being threatened. Um, it's not safe for residents really to use the park right now. Um, dog walkers have been threatened with knives. We've had a couple dog kidnappings. Two businesses targeted by a thief may have caught the suspect I on video. This have woman was seen stealing pants at the Afghan kitchen in it's South Surrey. The restaurant owner says she's ripped she's down their blooming plants three times this summer. Wah, Afghan's owner reported the incident wah, to police and posted wah, the video wah, on social media. Uh, and they found wah, out another business nearby uh, also had wah, the same experience. Uh, Both hope wah, someone in the community will be able yeah, to identify guy. the flower. And girls. Lady, the businesses should I be talking to each other and just keeping an eye on what's I going on because you know we try to take care of our stores and especially right now it's it's uh, it's stressful for everybody and then to have somebody take your plans so it's pretty tacky Yo, guys, Beach is get out. To swimmers due to dangerous levels of <laughs> Try me, boys. Signs have gone up to remind beachgoers not to go in the water at this moment. All other beaches remain open, although resampling is being done at Trout Yo, Lake, buddy, Beach, Beach, and Point. Me. The Canadian Food Inspection Agency has oh, expanded its red onion repack to include me. products made with those imported U.S. onions. It comes after 69 salmonella cases were reported by British Columbia. Yeah. International of Bakersfield, California. Yeah, Anyone who bought skin products up. or several no name brand salads is being told to check the CFI yeah, website for cool. more information. It appears two BC babies who both suffer from a rare medical condition will be getting the treatment they need. Lucy was diagnosed with spinal muscular atrophy shortly after she was born. Yeah, the guys. family started a GoFundMe page in May to help cover the cost with the most me, expensive buddy. drug in the you're world. Without the life-saving life drug, them. she may not live past her <laughs> second birthday. Yeah, guys. Her father posted an update so, that his daughter will receive the $2.8 million dollar drug million like Zolgensma. It will likely happen in early September. He says right now their focus is preparing Lucy for the treatment. And we've learned that the family of a second baby that same drug buddy. has also reached their fundraising goal. We first met little Aryan at his Surrey home last month. On Friday, he had his first birthday. He suffers from the same condition as Lucy, and without the same costly treatment, the disease would steal what his ability to walk or even eat. His story got the attention of a Bollywood film this star who shared cool. with millions of her followers, giving the fundraiser a big financial boost. The family says a simple thank you is not enough to all those who donate it. That is good news. 
A Coquitlam resident saw some surprise visitors on the road. Check this out. A mama so black bear cool. and her two cubs were caught walking along the top portion of Coast Meridian Road in Coquitlam. The bears slowly walked beside the vehicle until quickly scurrying to the other side of the road and this heading off so to green. bushes. Green. And that is bear territory green. around there. We have friends who live there and there's always a bear wandering Ooh. around. It's always a story. Always yeah. a story from the Coquitlam area, but One nice to see top. that everyone was playing nicely there. <laughs> right. What a beautiful scene behind you. What a lovely it morning, is. What a different morning than yesterday, yes, huh? Yeah, I'll show you some photos. Uh, some really neat photos, actually, from yesterday, but that's coming up later in the show. But for now, let's bask in the beauty at this point. It's a clear morning. 14 degrees. Our overnight low was 13. Chilly <coughs> night it was for some interior sections. We'll talk about that in a moment. Right. Uh, we're going to a daytime high of 21 to 25 are. degrees, so slightly warmer than it was yesterday. Oh, wow. And, of course, this temperature range, depending on where you are near the water, always a little bit chillier. A humid X of 28 for inland sections. Current Good temperatures day. across the province, Go. it is 9 Invest in William Lake, 7 in Prince George this morning, 13 in Kamloops. What? A record no, cold morning it was for some, of, up, um, for some of us, but first let's talk about yesterday's hot spot in the province, Not which was cool. in Osuyas, 28.5. So this has been the uh, winner for some time, but the cold spot this morning, Burns Lake Are you had minus zero point four. Like so quite frigid. Fries. I'm sure there was a fair amount of uh, frost what? on the ground over there. We haven't said that word in a while. Frost. Wow. Okay, but rain. That's the topic of discussion now, and a fair amount yeah, of it guys. over the north coast and very gusty conditions upon us right now. And into the day, as the day goes on, the system continues to track further southeast. So all of these areas do have a chance of precipitation. What? Central interior sections, you will notice uh, an increase in cloudiness into the afternoon and that pretty good chance of showers over there. I'm not uh, anticipating any thunderstorms with this system, just a little bit of moisture, which, hey, we could always use that. Here's your Monday late day, but still a little bit unsettled across the northeast of the province. So here's your today, still a windy one for you in the northeast of the province. Windy uh, for the northern, uh, for the north coast rather. What? Not so much about the uh, winds over here. Start, temperatures are starting to be back I to seasonal across the southern half that. of the province. It's going to be a beauty of a day. 28 in Kamloops, 28 right. in Kelowna. Windy near the Strait of Shouldn't Georgia, so you will notice that too long, the east coast uh, sections of Vancouver yeah. Island and the Sunshine Coast. And here's your next view from Whoa, the Vancouver Island. What a week. Oh, yeah. so much, Kasha. Totally Stay with us. Coming up, protests in Beirut continue in as a high-ranking official so resigns. Then, wait. Go away. Go away. Yeah. Morning in Manitoba after two teens are killed in a deadly tornado. Plus, a pandemic hug. How one long-term care home is making sure everyone feels loved. Stay with us. We'll see you soon. Don't forget to like the video. Uh, and if you guys are not subscribed yet, hit subscribe. How do you afford all those phone bills? Just do it. But it's not easy. Do it. It's totally easy. Yeah, I almost nothing for my family's phones because oh, I connect them to my shop internet. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a lot. Introducing Shaw Mobile. Pair mobile with internet and get zero dollar talk and text or a forty five dollar unlimited data plan with a CIBC Divinity yeah, Visa guys. Infinite card. What? Like, you spend on I got away. You get cash back with no limits. Oh, and fee rebate. One. We all found ways to take care of ourselves while staying um, inside. And Activia is here with one billion ah, probiotics so and its delicious taste to support your gut health and Yeah, day. guys. And Activia, girls. Good, um, if you so seek adventure I and experience can, uh, beyond the usual, well, look to the heartlands yeah. of BC. Roam far from the beaten path and go where your spirit takes you. It's all here in BC's wild backyard. So where will you go? What will you see? When you explore our ranches, rivers, and ranges. We don't play in a band. But we sell cars. 
The Cod Auto Group is the largest used dealer in the Okinawa for dealerships to serve. Kelowna Hyundai, Kelowna Kia, Penticton Nissan, and the Bidirect Truck Center. We carry over 500 used vehicles, in-house financing, no payments for six months, and we finance everyone. Visit us today at thecodautogroup.com. You guys get the idea. We stop cars! More what? what? Closed captioning of this program is brought to you in part by BC Strawberries. Fine. Nothing More says summer like strawberries. No Available now in fields six. and stores near you. <laughs> I'm broke. In Manitoba, two teens are dead and another person is recovering after a tornado touched clo down close to the city of Brandon. Hold on, on guys. I will be right back. Joe Scarpelli has more. It's being described as scary and devastating. Footage captured Friday night shows this twister touching down in western Manitoba, just outside Burden, where Tammy Skelton lives. And I'm looking at this thing going, go away, go away, get out of my yard. When it did leave her yard, she says she followed, and watching the destruction it was leaving behind, she dialed 911. The lady, all I can hear her saying is, Please slow down, please slow down. I can't tell what you're saying. During that call, she says the twister flipped two vehicles in front of her. One man was trapped in an SUV. He was honking the horn, trying to alert help, trying to get someone to come and get him. They couldn't get to him because the hydro lines were down. The 54-year-old was taken to hospital with serious injuries. Two people were in the second vehicle. Police say they were thrown when the tornado hit. After a bit, they... Um, started CPR on the second person and yeah, it's very unfortunate. The 18 year olds were pronounced dead at the scene. Just across the street from this farm property, one of the hardest hit areas. Dozens of volunteers now helping to clean up. It's quite bad. We've got big trees down, we've got bins down. Basically decimated. There's not much left. As pictures and videos of the tornado circulate online, the town's mayor is warning residents to stay back should another powerful storm emerge. A tornado, don't fool around with them. One minute it can be going that way, and the next minute it can take you right with it. Joel Scarpelli, Global News. More political fallout in Lebanon following the devastating blast that ripped through Beirut. Lebanon's information minister has a good resignation. Blog it comes as citizens blame yeah, the guys. for the chronic so mismanagement and corruption what? believed to be behind the explosion people in the Beirut port warehouse. Eye. At least 160 what? people have now been killed and nearly 6,000 others injured. Oh my Dozens eye. were also injured in protest yesterday. They're said to I be the biggest I since October when thousands took to the streets to take a stand against corruption and bad habits. Clean up continues on the streets of the year following a violent night of protests. One police officer was killed while roughly 10,000 people tried to break down a barrier along the road leading to Parliament. Some demonstrators managed to storm government ministries. The Red Cross said it had treated 117 people for injuries on the scene on Saturday night while another 55 were taken to hospital. Indian investigators have now found the so-called black boxes from the My plane that crashed dear. Friday, killing at least 18 people. <coughs> the Air India Express jet skidded oh, off the runway while trying to land in heavy rain. Both pilots <coughs> were killed. Yeah, the guys. flight recorders may provide Dang some answers girls. as to what caused the crash. <coughs> the flight was repatriating more than 100 <coughs> Indians stranded abroad oh, by the God. pandemic. Oh. Officials say it's a miracle the death toll is <coughs> higher. <coughs> This marks India's what? worst passenger aircraft accident uh, since 2010. Dude, just climb. The number of COVID-19 cases in the United States has topped 5 million. Uh, it took just 16 days to get from 4 million to 5 million cases. As of Saturday, there have been more than 162,000 deaths from the novel coronavirus in the U.S. Yeah, New York guys. still has the highest number of deaths in the nation. With more than 30,000 in that state alone. One.
F high It's now been over 100 days since so. New Zealand has seen a domestic transmission of COVID-19. Yeah. <laughs> There's just 23 active cases being managed yeah, guys, in isolation facilities uh, right like now, and just over 1,200 cases in total uh, in the country. That makes the Pacific Island nation of 5 million people enjoy, one of the safest places um, in the world yeah, currently. But I'm New Zealand's Prime Minister is warning lot. against complacency. Countries I like Vietnam and no Australia, joke. which once had the virus under control, are now battling a resurgence so in infections. Fun. Time for an update on our road situation this Sunday morning with Tim Maine. Good morning, Tim. Good morning. Tim Maine. Look at the landscape bridge. Things looking pretty buttery smooth Z on the bridge this morning. Maine. Just one lane in each direction, but that's not affecting traffic too badly. If you're headed into downtown Vancouver, though, there is that construction zone on Georgia Street with lane closures between Hornby and Seattle yeah, and also some work on Howe Street between Dunster and Georgia. Those restrictions go until about November 27th. If you're hearing important, Connect Hearing is Canada's number one physician referred what is healthcare this? provider. Visit connecthearing.ca for a free hearing test. Take care of your hearing. In the Sussex Insurance Global Traffic Center, I'm Tim May. Cool. The pandemic has been a lonely time for many residents of long-term care homes. One center, though, in Texas has found what? a way to bring families together in a safe it's way using a simple what? sheet of plastic. The so-called hugging booth is approved by the Center for Disease Control, and staff wipe everything down with two kinds of cleaners in between each use. For some of these seniors, it's the first hug they've had from their loved ones in seven months. It's a great idea. Um, Just babe. ahead, how the Fraser Valley Bandits are preparing as they head into the CEBL Finals today. That's really exciting for them. Jake Jack wow, will have the latest guys. for us. That's next. I got a lot of cash. <laughs> The Peony is now open for some clean, safe fun. Nice. Enjoy an expanded selection of rides and attractions at the park, like the wooden roller coaster, the beast, and many others. Nice. And paid admission gives you unlimited Whoa. rides during your visit. Open every Saturday and Sunday. And yeah, guys, guys don't forget to subscribe and like it up. This might be one of my longest videos. Just be a it's so fun. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, guys. Should I open it? Yeah. Right. Yeah, now it's open to everyone pretty much. So you guys should come join me on this game. It is super fun, not gonna lie. I'm being real with you. Yeah, it's super fun. Like, like you and I. Like hey, so much. And pick up your favorites. Fun. We can't wait there. to see you again. Where are you Need help with your game? You ask a teammate. Need help getting there safely? You rely on the Jiffy. No, Jiffy. I'm running. Jiffy. I'm running. It's the 25th yeah, anniversary of the Kelowna Farmers and Crafters Month every Wednesday and Saturday. Over 100 vendors showcasing the bounty and talents of the Okanagan Valley. Kelowna Farmers and Crafters Market, Wednesday and Saturday, 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the corner of Joe Yeah, Street. guys. It's time like, for summer. I got a It's time to renew your insurance policies. Spend less time worrying and more time on the things you love. Like, um, Johnston Meyer Insurance. It's time for summer. Yeah. There are things that a door or window so. screen will always do. Like the bus it out, up. Let the fresh air in. I'm but so, up, so sorry I banned the Retractable screens by Phantom disappear like completely out of sight without in use. Experience so screens that disappear. Experience Phantom. Nothing compares to an original Phantom. But offering the best value for this game. Guaranteed installation and light so time warranty. Fine, Commercial or residential. Existing or new built. Request a quote today at phantomscreensokanagan.com. The best game in the world. Don't touch me like someone left you feel like the holiday.
What? I lost the nerve. No way. That is so sick. Yeah, guys. But in case you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to stay classy. Comment down below and I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye! Christina tells me DeRoche is known for its dairy farms. Many